Welcome, everybody, to theCUBE's live coverage of AWS reInvent 2021. We're in person for a real event. Two live stages. Two remote studios. Probably the industry's most important hybrid event of the year. Over 100 guests on theCUBE at AWS reInvent 2021. Amazing. All right, so let's get right into it. This is 10 years of reInvent. We've been here for nine. 20 plus thousand people. Everybody is coming from every industry. Learning from each other, learning from AWS, learning from the things that you're observing as well. Of course, last year during the lockdown, reInvent was purely virtual. Obviously the pandemic changed the world for everyone. We went from thinking about the future to really just trying to make it through the next few weeks. Everybody was scrambling. What do we do? How do we pivot? How do we survive mode? While it was overall a very bad thing, but it actually helped accelerate customers' journey to cloud. We saw a ton of digital innovation. Really looking to data and analytics and machine learning to find new opportunities. Some return to the office, but now they have the tools to be able to stay at home and be more flexible. The pandemic has proven to a lot of people that digital works here, but it's exposed what doesn't work. Every company has to be a data company. It's actually a must have, and so is location when we talk about data, they go hand in hand. Typically that data at some point will come back into the cloud, into S3, it will be used to do heavy duty training, and then those models get pushed back out to the edge. On the ground, above the ground, under the ground. In instances where they either can't move or won't move Correct. their resources into the cloud or there's no connectivity. Latency comes up a lot in edge conversations. The value is the immediacy. Understanding that value specific to the moment it's being captured. You know, the edge is a resource that's more limited than the, the full cloud in the AWS region. The cloud is something that's changing the world for a lot of customers. Obviously, there's cost reasons. There's M&A reasons. Remove complexity from users and make it really easy for new workloads to be added to the system. You can leverage all their AI, ML tools, IoT, Edge, Container, Blockchain. We're the most complete portfolio of any cloud provider when it comes to storage and data. They're virtually infinite resources now at your disposal. The last thing we wanted to be is uh, server huggers. We're ready to accelerate these transformations. We actually had an enterprise migrate one of their largest production applications in just four days. How do we secure our data when we start having infrastructure in a variety of locations? You can decide who's allowed to see it, what they're allowed to see, and if you want to change your mind, you can do that instantly and all access can be locked down. Governance should be an enabler, not an inhibitor. You then can have the modern apps. The modern apps to me are inherently iterative and inherently scalable and uh, amenable to change. So it's not just the applications, it's analytics, it's AI, it's machine learning. Human interpretation is pretty challenged, I would say. So that's where AI comes in to augment the intelligence that we have in terms of extracting information. Now it's true infrastructure as code. If I'm spinning up servers, that means that's a low-level primitive that should be automated. Right. When we look at how we are going to move up the stack and other areas, we just continue to listen to our customers. What is your business strategy and your business vision? And how do we design the technology solutions working back from that? Using tools like Insights in order to give customers advice. If you're a founder, you have an idea. You know the thing that you want to disrupt. And we're letting people do that in different ways. Giving control back to the end user, whether that's yeah. a consumer or an yeah. enterprise. They want to say, I like it, I don't like it. The market is deciding. I'm going to go where my software runs the best. That's right. I get distribution, I create value, and it runs fast. Our yeah. vision is eventually to have a community of about 10 to 20 million of the most extraordinary doers in the world. Really, the goal is how can customers get value as quickly as possible for as low cost as possible. Point it out, black and white. This is your cost now. This is what your cost is going to be. And everybody is happy. There's a huge ecosystem of data tools out there. That's right. That you guys have as partners that want to snap together. So the trend is things are starting to snap together. We talk about the power of three, which is you bring a GSI partner, you bring an ISV partner, you bring AWS. You create that power of three and you take it to our customers. And you can start for a few pennies and scale up uh, you know, into the petabytes and beyond. They have it better, don't they? Absolutely. <laughs> don't you wish you were 20 again with all this code out there? The next 15 years, it's about opportunity, transforming, faster decision making. Your work now is to really drive the data cloud, get adoption up, you yeah. know, build that super cloud, we call it. Container first, cloud native first, push forward, and then make sure that everybody's kind of on that same ship, running in the same direction. Five to 15% only of workloads have moved to the cloud. We're at the dawn of the era of cloud. There's plenty of room for a lot of players. They can't hire enough developers. So this is the other thing that's happened during the pandemic. The war for talent is on. Talent is truly evenly distributed around the world. 
but what is not is opportunity. In order to enable talent, you need to educate them. Our Skill Builder platform provides 500 free training courses in 16 languages across 200 countries. We attract, we retain, and we grow. The opportunity for innovation is limitless. And it's all about connecting. We're wrapping up four days of coverage, two sets. We go to the events and extract the signal from the noise. Stay tuned because there's always more on theCUBE. The global leader in live tech coverage. We'll see you next time.